Hey there folks and welcome back to more Little Nightmares. Um, I'm just gonna crack straight on. So we are currently being pursued by um, the Chunky Sisters, uh, the Tweedledum and Tweedledee uh, sisters who are trying to, the chefs who are trying to eat us. Um, keep and we have just triggered her to come on out. So we're gonna go back into our little safety hidey hole. Get in the hidey hole. Come on, six. That's that is the only thing that I'm basing her gender off is the noise that she makes. Um these grubby little lunch ladies. Yeah, have a look in your box. What's in your box, say? Give it a give it a shifty. Oh, a nice bit of cheese. Oh, yeah, stick that in your pocket for later. Mm. Tasty. Right, yeah, you you keep on going over there. Oh, what are you getting now? Nice little chunk of meat to go with your cheese. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, pocket that. Pockets are a great place to store food. breathing so raspy she probably wouldn't be able to hear me anyway. I'm surprised she even can hear me. Like I said, I feel like she's like sniffing me out because she seems to have that kind of like a like kind of sniffy going on. Right. Um, she's she's gonna come straight back up now that and so we've got a very come on conveniently placed little hidey hole and she won't even know. She won't even know where we are. She has no idea. Do ya? You ain't got a clue of your love. But thank you. I needed you to press the button. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks. You're so thoughtful. Oh, yeah. You cough it up, love. Cough it up. Now this bit isn't ideal because I need that key. That key that is literally right in front of her. Oh, hack away at it, love. Hack away. So we're gonna go all the Ooh, that uh, sploshed. We're gonna go all the way around to stop. She doesn't know I'm here. She has no idea. As far as she's aware. I'm just a little mouse. No, nothing going on. Nothing happening. Nothing going on. Okay. Right, so we've got a lovely little meat grinder here. I'm just going to check if there's anything else I need before we trigger the meat grinder. Oh, I've already done it, I've already done it, I've already done it, I've already done it, I've already done it. Get get in there, get in there, get in there, quickly, quickly, quickly. You need to be quick. Because we need to grab the key and run. Get back in the lift and get out. Quickly, 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 quickly. We don't have long. Luckily there are no stairs. I mean, not that she'd be particularly good at stairs anyway, but... Right, no, no, we don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. Just push it. Just push it! Come on, do you want to die? Get in the hidey hole. Get in your hidey hole. Get in your hidey hole. Get in your hidey hole. Nothing going on. I'm not here. There's nothing here. You're imagining things. Come on, lunch lady Doris. You're, ima you're imagining things. Just go, go about your business. Go back to doing what you need to do. Good girl. That's it, good girl. And I'm just gonna go down the rubbish chute. Whee! Oh, another one of these. Yep. Not sure what it hit then, but never mind. Uh, is there a lantern down here? I feel like I could use a little save spot, maybe, maybe, not sure. Oh, yeah, cool, we'll climb up here. Oh, and we get to be under the floor again. 
always nice. So we drop down there. Oh, just so we can get up here, because this is this is where the stuff is. Yeah. Oh, you're doing the dishes. Good. Right, how far along? This one doesn't open. No, that one doesn't open. How far along can I go? It's the yeah. There we go. Right, so you do have to, and we've got to deal with both of them now, which uh, isn't ideal. But we'll try. We'll try stealth in it. But I'm not very good at stealth in it. See? Run! Let's go back down. For some reason she got stuck, I'm not sure what she got stuck on. But she got trapped on something. Right, so they're both mobile now. She's getting stuck on something. I'm not entirely sure what. That may have actually helped a little bit, actually. Let's get under here. Yeah, you don't know where I am. You have no idea. Just carry on doing your dishes. Lots of dishes to do. Nice. So what we're trying to do is um, find our way find ourselves a way out of here obviously but we want to get this going come on grab onto it that's what we want and now we want to hide under here is that enough I didn't like half do it did I I did actually do it fully, right? That is... That is properly going. Yes, that is properly going, okay. Okay. And try and go back. The way we came. Now there are actually two ways you can do this. You can climb the big stack of plates in the middle or you can slip back down he here come up here And you can actually climb this. Which I don't feel is a way that everyone knows. I don't know if it actually benefits much doing it this way. No. But then, yeah, you can do that. Um, come on, upsy daisy. Come on. Oh dear. That's not good. Just keep climbing. They're short. They're very, very short. I just need to get to that platform without dying a little bit. Can I just throw this at her? <laughs> I need to get over there, but I'm worried if I fall. Which is likely. They're just gonna have me straight away. It'd be nice if they could move on. I'm not here. There's no one here. Go and go and clean your dishes. Come on. Go on. Off you go. Good girl.
There we go. There we go. So you can both, you can do it both ways. I there's not really any benefit to doing it one way or the other. I don't think. I don't think there's any secret or anything additional. Um, you can catch it from there, or you can. I feel like it's more risky doing it through the plates because um, that's like the central area. They're gonna know you're there. I mean, as soon as you're on the hook, I feel like they know you're there anyway. Get running. Oh god! That's not fair, I was stuck! Right. Um, no, I got stuck on the table. I feel like I needed a bit more of a head start than that. So, let's, let's go. Run! And just keep running. Don't, don't hang about. This is the best way to do it. Just run, because they get you under, because I think it's like the taller tables. You need to be like under quite a low environment in order to, and then, oh. And then just, this is hell, because she doesn't walk in a straight line. <sighs> right, and that's the chef's done. More or less. They make a special little guest appearance later, but that is more or less the chef. The chef's done. Oh. No, see? See? Do you see what I mean? She starts slipping. And there's no real need for that. I don't feel like that's necessary. But once again, we get this amazing sense of scale. You have to keep on just adjusting where she's walking. And this is like, if you hadn't already figured out from the motion of the whole um, camera, this is kind of where you figure out, you know, undeniably that you're on some kind of boat or water vessel. I feel like it might be a submarine, but then it's just come up to the surface or something. I don't know. Ooh. And then you get this blinding. So it's a ship is now docking onto whatever it is that we're on and all of these people are now docking onto it. Now I can't really see where I am. There I am. And you're thinking to yourself at this point, oh, she's, she's free. You know, she's made it out. But where would I go from here? So in actual fact, we are staying on this place. We're just going up via the outside. It's quite a, quite a climb. But I just love this massive vastness of it. Of how big it is and how tiny. I mean, I'm pretty sure this scene specifically is why she has a bright yellow coat so that you can still see where she is in comparison to the rest of the environment. And she's a good old climber, I'd be exhausted by this point. And we're back in. And we can see this march of people. Once again, if you can even call them people, I still don't feel like they're humans in the sense that we know humans. I feel like they're some kind of mutated species or whatever, I don't know. Um, they all seem to be wearing masks and... So like the whole screen is trembling because they're, because of their marching, because they're so cumbersome. Come on, in you go. They make the entire place shake. Uh. Right, just take this very slowly. Uh, we don't want her to fall off. I feel like you overthink it as well. Uh, 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 uh. Get to see them. 
Like, it's a wonder they can't see me at this stage. Now, if you look top left, we'll see the lovely lady from the beginning. And also the lady we saw in the cameras. It's kind of like this... She's like the overseeing the manager of this place, whatever this place is. That's my impression anyway. Once again, this is all my interpretation. like the upper level so we've been quite low down for the majority of it it's almost like we're in the the guest area now so whatever this place is i don't know if it's like a a restaurant a hotel some kind of spa getaway whatever it's meant to be representative of but we are now among these creatures these guests who just sit here and gorge on all of this meat Now, a lot of them will be kind of oblivious to you, but this one, for example, will come come after you. Um, so you need to get away from him. Because they're surprisingly sprightly. Oh, God. I didn't realise he'd carry on coming. I was hoping he'd go away so I can try and look at the rest of the area. I guess that's not happening. Any secrets? Secrets? Any secrets? Secrets? No. Okay. So they are after the fresh meat that is me. But not today, darling. And she like nearly breaks her back trying to get to me. I'm surprised she doesn't topple over. Any secrets? Anything going on? Anything? I haven't seen any of our little gnome friends for a while. But I don't think so. Oh, there you are. I give you cuddles. Light another one of these. You right, bud? You good? You got a bit of light now. I don't know where I got a lighter from in amongst this dystopian nightmare. I still managed to come across a lighter. So that's not the uh, actual way forward. We need to get on up here. And this is... I wouldn't say it's necessarily difficult. I, I mean, I still might mess it up, but you just gotta get through them all. Oh. But knowing, like, how far they can reach is not always easy. Um, are we good? I might just leg it through rather than walking through. It might be better. Alright, let's just go for it. Thank you. 
See, when I first played this, it wasn't. I didn't think it was very clear where to go, but you actually have to hop over here. I've got another, another one that's keen to get to us. Poor girl, I mean she's she's landing on glass and things. Oh yeah. Lead him back over this way. Keep coming. I said they're surprisingly fast actually. I mean we had to do something quite fun actually. We had to go uh boing. That must be lovely and bouncy, but we yeah, we've gotta run. Can't fit through there, can you? <sighs> right, where are we now? Oh dear. Yeah, this is what I meant when I said the uh, chefs make a little guest appearance. Uh, hide, 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 hide. Oh no, over here, over here, over here, over here. You don't actually um, damage, kill, whatever. I don't know what we did to Mr. Noodle Arms. We don't actually kill Lunch Lady Doris. See, they have like multiple toilets in one room. Like, this isn't a high class establishment. It is basically just for eating. And yeah, we need to, to, to break the, the mirror to get through here. There's nowhere else to go. So, also, it's a case that there's a chair in here and a two way mirror. So. This whole thing, once again, of people being watched is like, yeah. I'd love to know more. I really hope they do another game, but I have a feeling that they won't. I think I heard something somewhere that they weren't intending on doing another game, but I want more. I want to know more of the lore. I want to know more of what's going on. I want more of this story of Six in general. I don't actually know what those do. Um, I don't think I've ever found them all either. I should really look up some kind of playthrough or something. Here we go. Got another friend. Hi friend. Hugs. Are you putting his hand in a bucket of water so he pisses himself? You cheeky little thing. Oh, sleeping off all the food. Barely even fits on the bed. Them gnomes don't half have a good sense of humour, don't they? Right, if I remember rightly, I need to run my little legs off. Yep. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. They're after fresh meat. And I'm the only thing squirming around here. Oh, God. I hate chase sequences in any game because they're so terrifying. No, 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 no! Oh, I got stuck. Go, 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 go! Run, 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 run! Oh god, she's running out of steam, she's running out of beans. No! How was that? I don't know. I've never had that happen to me before. It's like she was running out of energy. Maybe I, maybe I 
I don't know if she runs out of like she hasn't got like a stamina bar obviously but I don't know if I just had her running for too long maybe I'll just hold off until it starts because it was like she slowed down at the end wasn't it and I wasn't doing anything to to stop that I was willing her on I can tell you that for free Don't don't fall over now. Go 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 go. Go 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 go. Six, run! Oh god, that was close. She almost didn't make it again, but I don't know what it was. It was like she was slowing down. I just like this lantern whilst I'm here. Don't mind me. It was almost like the game... The game almost glitched to make me make it. Because it's like it knew. Oh. I mean, you were literally just amongst so much food, but also, like I said before, I don't think this is a normal kind of hunger. Come on, keep pressing on. I, I knew that was coming um, first time I saw this I was shocked shook I was physically shook and at the time I was like oh my god I've been feeling sorry for this girl this whole time and she's ended up being a monster however upon reflection and after seeing what happens in um, the second game, I don't think it's her fault. I think she... There's something wrong with her. I don't want to ruin anything too much about what happens in the second one. Oh, there she goes. But there is something... There is something wrong with her. There is, like, she, this hunger that she gets, it is primal it takes over her being in sensibilities i don't think she is a bad person and i think she would help one of the little gnome fellas if they were in trouble when she wasn't hungry even because he offered her a little sausage and everything which is great but she needs i'm certain that she needs living food or it's at least better for her to have living things and I think it's like she has no choice on the matter. Oh, that wouldn't fit. Now we're heading into end game now, so there'll probably be one more episode after this. I don't know. I can't remember how how long the this section is. This is final boss lady. can hear her humming. Now it's also interesting to notice that all of the mirrors in the house are broken. It's kind of like... Is it almost like a Medusa kind of deal? That it's, it's damaging. I don't think she actually turns herself to stone or kills herself or anything, but it is painful or damaging to herself to look at herself in the mirror, to look at her own reflection. Um, I think she also wears a mask a lot of the time and I think if she wasn't wearing that mask if other people were to look at her they would 
die or, or something. I don't know. And it's also very unfortunate that they have all these mannequins everywhere which look like they could be her. Um, a deliberate design of the game, I'm sure, to make it more scary. So we need a key for this. However, I'll hold on for a little bit longer, actually. We looked at her through the cameras. I don't know if you actually do get. I don't know. It's not like with the others where she super knows where you are. So I actually think she's the easiest one to beat in the end. And you also notice as well, every other time we've made a noise in a game, we've been chased. She heard us, she definitely heard us because she gasped and she stopped singing. But she's not come to investigate. Now I don't know, there's theories going on that she is the mother of her. Or even like the mother of all of these children. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Like I said, I would like to look into the lore of this more. Oh, it looks like I actually, I've just got the achievement come up saying that I've um, got them all. So I must have gotten some that I've not got, not, not gotten, not gotten before to get that achievement. So that's nice. And it's like, where did she go? It seems like it's too easy. Like she's just letting us go. I don't fully know who she is. We're in the ladies' quarters. Um, it's pretty creepy quarters. Um, and also it's quite nice because in the DLC we get to explore this area a lot, lot more. Uh, it's quite a difficult part of the DLC. I'd say actually the DLC is a bigger, fuller game than this is. So once again we've got all the broken mirrors. I'm pretty sure she's gonna chase me! And I don't like it, and I don't like it, 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 I don't like it! She is creepy. She is mega creepy. I don't like it at all, but... Oh, now that I think about it, this may be a very short episode. I thought this bit was way longer, I don't know why. This is very, very much end game. Because I don't think I can ever, I will ever get sick of playing this game because this game is just, like I said, it is such, it creates such an incredible atmosphere. So, we have a mirror. The only non-broken mirror in the whole place. And just like with Medusa, there she is. I need to show her to herself. You know, stay in the light. Because like I said, it like it, it's like it damages her. Um, right. 
very much want to stay in the light. But like I said, as boss fights go, so long as you stay in the light, it's not that hard actually. Just stay in the middle. Grab your mirror. It's creepy and it sets an amazing atmosphere, but... I love that the light is also like the same shape as the mirror as well. Come on then. Bring it. And again, and again, and again. Come on. Keep going, Six. Quickly now, quickly, 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 pick it up, 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 pick it up. There we go. Bet you can guess what we're gonna do now. Six is hungry, and she likes live prey. And look, we have a wounded live creature over here. With an abnormally long neck, I might add. Would be a waste if we didn't have a little munch. And this was a magic munch, because she had all her magic powers, which apparently by eating her, or sucking her blood, whatever it was that we did, we get now get. And we get this epic ending. This is uh, such the music, mm. but it's such an epic ending. This music, and it makes me so happy. I love it so much. And we end up just sucking the life essence out of them. Another theory that I have, as well is that maybe the lady that we ate got her powers in a similar way maybe she consumed the life essence soul whatever you want to call it of loads of people and that's how she ended up as powerful as she was but then it stopped her from being able to see her own face. I don't know. Not sure how it works. And then here comes Six, who just skips to the end and just eats her instead. And absorbs all the power that she's already absorbed. And then we just we're just walking straight out the front door. So ain't no one gonna try and tell us what to do now. Yeah, 
jets, it's taken over automatically now. And that is the end of what is an incredibly short but special and amazingly told little game. And we get to see all of our little gnome friends who, uh, who we freed along the way. So I only got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of them. There's apparently 13. So there's definitely some that I missed. And I might look up a playthrough or something to see where they are. And I'd like to look at speedruns as well. That's enough something else I said. And this song, this song, like the end credit song as well. I love the music in this. The the guy who does the music on his is like Tobias something. Um, is a genius. He's done all the music for this game and the 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 DLC and the sequels. And it honestly is some of the best soundtracks I've ever heard. Um, I have them all and I listen to them regularly. I mean, I'm not just saying I've I've got I've bought them and I've listened to them once. I mean, I listen to it regularly. Because um, it just sets such a tone, sets such a mood, and it's brilliant. So that was Little Nightmares. Um, like I said, it, it, it jostles in first place for my favourite game between this and Psychonauts. Obviously it's very, very different to Psychonauts, but... Um, yeah, we'll add the DLC onto the wheel. Um, and we'll play that, and once we've played that, we'll add the sequel onto the wheel. Because I would really like to play the sequel. There we go, Tobias Lilja. He's the guy. He's brilliant. Oh, he's also a voice actor. I wonder if he just did... Well, there's not really any proper voices. It must just be, like, the grunts and noises you just hear. But I really, really hope that this... That they come out with another one. I don't know um, if they've got other similar games. This studio, I haven't actually properly looked. Um, but... I would love it if they created a third one, but I don't think they will. I heard somewhere that they're not. Um, so yeah, I would love to know what you think about this game. I love it. Um, I'm going to look up some of the lore and everything, and maybe I'll have a bit more to add when I get around to playing the DLC. I was just jolly enjoying the music, and this is our little, our tiny little end scene. So I think this is... This is what she's been on this whole time. It's like an island with like a city built into it. That's why I'm thinking it's more like a submarine. But I don't know. So that is that. Um, when it comes to the DLC, you have to actually go into the chapter selection, and you can see that there is. You're able to see each chapter, but then you see there's now this underneath bit. And they run. This story of the DLC runs parallel to Six's story. Um, it, as in it is literally happening at the same time but underneath her um, which is really clever I think um, right so that's that's that um, thank you so much for watching especially if you stayed through the whole series especially if you're watching to the end I really appreciate that um, please let me know if you're enjoying this please let me know if you've got any suggestions I know that there are games other games that are quite similar to this um, like Limbo which is on the wheel um, so I'm all for any other suggestions that you've got for games like this I also know that there's a game called Inside which is made by the same people as Limbo um, it's only not on the list because I was going to add it after I'd played Limbo uh, I know that they don't actually follow on from one another but it's more that I know that they're similar um, so I will add that but if there's anything else anything else that you can suggest um, then I'd love to hear it um, so thank you thank you once again please like and please subscribe if you're enjoying these videos it'd be nice to know get some feedback um, so please let me know and I'll see you next time bye bye